Hello, Simona Koki is so excited uh, to record uh, this video on my personal takes on uh, digital review on uh, Dolce Gabbana show. Uh, for doing this, uh, I'm gonna mm, uh, screen and uh, bro broadcast from uh, the Dolce Gabbana YouTube channel because yesterday I, I missed it, or I mean, I would say. I, I broke it because of the connections. Anyhow, uh, let's uh, introduce uh, the Milano Fashion Week, paying tribute to my city Milano with this iconic uh, uh, drone video and the main um, pics of uh, this addiction. Um, and uh, it's time to dive directly on uh, YouTube and uh, so this is uh, Dolce Gabbana uh, platform and um, channel and um, I have uh, to be sure that all the um, yeah all the main uh, um, yeah all the main audio are set uh, perfectly I don't want to break it down so I'm gonna do this and then okay here we go so as you can see from uh, the uh, catwalk there is uh, um, all the list of uh, the last uh, 20 years uh, since uh, pre presumably um, Dolce Gabbana start uh, to uh, be in worldwide uh, successful couple of uh, designers so um, I have a few information to release for this uh, um, fashion show um, untitled re-edition and uh, because uh, there is a project behind uh, these the concept of these shows that comes from uh, the uh, research and selection of the best pieces of the Dolce Gabbana um, collections and so it's uh, getting back uh, from uh, the 80s look as well the late uh, 80s look and um, so they went back to the archive and they they had uh, such an incredible inspiration to um, so that's why it's name uh, uh, um, re-edition and uh, so they wanted to start from the heritage of Dolce Gabbana and then um, to uh, utilize these uh, uh, garments uh, and to um, make it more contemporary and uh, so um, they assembly different pieces uh, and so they could eventually uh, recall and uh, mm, uh, rewalk uh, this incredible journey uh, because um, they wanted to s celebrate um, the masculinity and uh, we have uh, to remind you that Dolce Gabbana uh, mainly started uh, their branding I'm talking about branding uh, through the incredible collection of underworld so um, and it, it, it was like a viral uh, mood and everybody were wearing the Dolce Gabbana uh, here in Italy it was a, a, a kind of con, uh, um, fight with Calvin Klein to be the uh, the kings of the underworlds okay you got that so uh, the the roots of uh, Dolce Gabbana collections uh, are um, comes from the uh, passion and the study and to to boost the masculinity so they keep on uh, uh, proposing and a very uh, tight um, underwear and uh, uh, t-shirts to enhance uh, the body uh, curves uh, of uh, men and 
I agree in that. Okay, um, let me check because I'm, I'm working with another telephone. Uh, so I'm translating from Italian. Uh, the look, uh, um, in this look, in the, the concept of this collection is, uh, um, is uh, uh, um, um, an ensemble um, of uh, pieces uh, put one on another. And I would say, uh, some of them reminds you to the grunge style, which I don't, I'm not into it so much because I don't think grunge is could be elegant or Italian style related. But anyhow, we have to keep on going. So this is the mood, and they um, they restyle a few pieces uh, to. Uh, put in this collection. You see, this is a typical uh, night side, night tight for for men that are absolutely seducing. Big bags, uh, so the accessories they can claim incredible cooperation with uh, um, uh, shoe and accessories manufacturers. Uh, um, so the colors. Uh, um, they have uh, black, white, uh, and then the cream, uh, and the sand, uh, and then the black. Uh, so mostly they are not so colorful uh, in this, uh, uh, in this um, um, collection, but uh, wow, this is, they are determined to pay tribute also to the colors of uh, Sicily. And um, there is a lot of brown embroideries and uh, gar mm, mm, details, uh, uh, tailoring details, but also mm, a wide range of uh, sportswear and uh, casual outfits. Uh, and um, it's interesting also to highlight the. Mm, Super gas, uh, superstars uh, uh, on the first rows there. Um, Apache Kalu, Pablo Schaber, Lucas uh, Jagger, uh, Michele Morrone, Can Yaman, Winston uh, Duke, Alex Gonzalez, William Levy, Kawa Raymond, uh, Tyrod Taylor, Rudy Gay. Jaren Jackson Jr., uh, Corey Kisper, Bismack Biombo, Wesley Uwundu, Josh Richardson. So, don't ask me uh, on who these guys are because uh, most of them I don't know who they are, but this is my fault. Maybe I have to be more involved in. Uh, music uh, rather than art but it's okay so i keep on going on uh, describing this incredible egg uh, stefano e domenico are able to give you back always so much emotions uh, because uh, um, there is so so much passion you can perceive uh, from uh, the casting results because most of the guys are really into Dolce Gabbana uh, they they look really comfortable and um, I think they love to to be uh, appointed by Stefano and Domenico so this is a um, calcio football in it uh, in Italian and it's a um, one of uh, the most important, uh, unfortunately, I would say, um, it becomes it becomes so much part of our culture that uh, nowadays. But I I think football has been overcome the 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 borders and so. Okay, getting back uh, to the fashion shows, uh, I see here also um, a few trousers and um, 
pieces that come from the military side that they readapt and re mm, reworked and rewashed in different ways. This is typical a grunge style when it's uh, like a, um, it seems that they come from uh, the slums, <laughs> but it's okay because uh, if it's trendy, they always find a way to um, give uh, the perception and uh, of uh, this is amazing this is a leather jacket and the this is is absolutely uh, precious also because in this case you can see the quality and the handmade uh, behind uh, the the Dolce Gabbana brand on the uh, main wall down there you can see how they uh, randomly uh, put together uh, different images from different um, fashion shows but also some details and iconic uh, um, images of uh, the collection or behind the scenes and so this is a way also to give uh, different perspective uh, and two different way of uh, uh, knowing more about the brand and what it's a uh, their 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 word is absolutely culture is absolutely uh, industries uh, and they are very cool and yeah And here you can uh, see how they also use network and uh, some things that comes uh, from uh, mostly from women uh, collections. So, but uh, they uh, master to adapt to a man. Uh, style and they use also different uh, cut and uh, so you can have a very elegant um, uh, sweet just cut and adapt to be also uh, avant-garde and trendy so they they have a strong ability of uh, adapting different uh, uh, philosophies to their, their brand. This is, I think, the only guy that is blonde uh, in all uh, the fashion show, <laughs> but he's <laughs> is colored anyway um, yeah and also the huge quantity of pieces every time there is a fashion show they are able to produce so um, they can cover any kind of needs and amazing yeah you can you can find anything in Dolce Gabbana So in this um, uh, span of times, they start from 91, but they started before. I think uh, the archive they put together start from that time, 91, and then comes over till nowadays. So can you imagine how many pe pieces they created during 40 years. Yes. And also they 
like to put uh, things on things garments or or on garments uh, so I uh, personally this kind of style let me a little bit I don't know but if the new trends are going towards garage and the misery that uh, these worlds are gonna let us uh, experience so it's just a way to announce <laughs> the poverty that is coming in the upcoming my months and this is the classical night type leopard feline that's amazing and this is pure sartorial i love this this is another one zebra Everybody here is happy, so happy. Yeah, I want to see Domenico and Stefano Gabbana to say hello to every. I have to say that there's a lot of people, no more mask, no more distancing, and so that. Um, they easily succeed in um, uh, welcoming, I don't know, 1,000 people. Um, look at how many guys they involved in these shows. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. So you can also imagine how, how, how much play uh, how much uh, yeah room they need to have for the backstage and how many would be involved at uh, at least double the, the numbers of the models working behind the scenes eccoli ciao ragazzi thank you this has been amazing wow yes viva dolce gabbana we support dolce e gabbana okay at this point i get back to my face here and i wish you to enjoy like me this uh, show and um, we are gonna uh, stay tuned uh, together very soon again and uh, give me the thumbs up Simona Cocchi the Italian way ciao